Now, this striking creature, we believe, is from the classic Pueblo period. In fact, we believe most or all of our flute player images here at the Wells Preserve are from the Pueblo classic period, which began about AD 1300, maybe 1350, and then continued through the time of contact. Of course, the figure is holding a flute, and that's the most obvious feature. And we do believe that this general area is uh, very acoustically significant, that there are echoes that have very interesting effects, and that might be a part of why people were using the space, including, but not limited to, making petroglyphs here. We also have an interesting instance of visual punning. If you look at the shape of the body of the flute player, and then this uh, possible bird figure above it may have a quail top knot. And you'll notice that the bird figure kind of mimics the shape of the flute player. But there's something even more interesting going on because you see the shadow coming down from above the flute player. Well, at the equinox twice a year, that shadow will take the shape of the breaks in the rock above it, which will create a curve and then a straight line. And it will, right around midday, line up perfectly with the arc of the tail and the edge of the back. So we believe this to be an equinox marker. And it is noteworthy that the Pueblos that are here today uh, are known to have in the past celebrated the equinox, which is not always the case for all Pueblos. So this is a very special rock. And then we have others, for example, we have several that we know of, and I'm sure there are more that we don't know of, images that are um, either uh, solstice or equinox markers. For example, we have a fabulous winter solstice marker that is a big spiral. And on the 21st of December at dawn, there's a little bump on the rock that makes a point of light go right to the center of that spiral. And watch it happen makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck. It's the most exciting thing.